ലൈ വിത്ത് മീ ഈസ് എ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫൈവ് കാനഡിയൻ ഇറോട്ടിക് ഡ്രാമ ഫിലിം ഡയറക്ടഡ് ബൈ ക്ലെമൻ വെർഗോ ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ദ ടു തൗസൻഡ് വൺ നോവൽ ഓഫ് ദ സെയിം നെയിം ബൈ തമാര ഫെയ്ത് ബർഗർ ദ ക്യാമറ ജെന്റ്ലി പാൻസ് ഔട്ട് ടു റിവീൽ എ യങ് വുമൺ മാസ്റ്റിബ്രേറ്റിംഗ് വൈൽ വാച്ചിംഗ് എ പോണോഗ്രാഫിക് വീഡിയോ ഷീ ജംസ് ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ബെഡ് ആൻഡ് വോക്സ് ഔട്ട് ടു എ പാർട്ടി ഇൻ സെർച്ച് ഓഫ് സെക്സ് ഡെസ്പൈറ്റ് ഹെർ അസർട്ടീവ്നെസ് ലൈല ഹാസ് ഡിസ്കവേർഡ് ഷീ ഹാസ് സം പവർ ഓവർ മെൻ വിത്ത് സെക്സ് however she feels a part of her is still untouched holding back david drags her into a bathroom before she can choose a nighttime partner as his lover calls through the door she drives away but not without keeping an eye on david as she picks up a shy guy with whom she has sex against a fence outside while david observes her from his car as his fiance victoria falls at him Leila has complete control over her encounter whereas David has no such power. He then notices her strolling down the street and decides to follow her. She gives him a friendly grin but does not talk to him instead breaking into a sprint and taking him into a playground. As she begins to touch herself they crouch within a little tunnel and watch each other. This time however he departs when Leila encounters David for the second time they eventually converse and he takes her home where they have sex he asks Leila if she wants to go on a genuine date with him and then gives her his phone number they finally go out and start a real relationship she meets his father who is physically frail but extremely amusing and who teases her about having sex and creating noise in their flat David has a warm spot for his charmingly brusque father Leila is still very but she is unfazed when Victoria David's old girlfriend comforts her at work warning her that he has intimacy issues when they return to the club Leila dances suggestively with a couple of men while monitoring David's reaction and when they return to his apartment he is upset and enraged when he reveals that all he thinks about is her and that he needs her she dismisses his anxieties acting as if it's all a joke he asks her to pledge that she will not abandon him which she does but she does not believe it when david discovers his father is gone he seeks comfort from leila but she is at a loss of for words this causes friction and he eventually asks her to leave he later rediscovers but he is unable to locate leila because he has no information about her other name than her first name leila's sexual environment is becoming increasingly unsatisfying and she is becoming increasingly agitated she picks up the shy guy again but when he refuses to obey her directions she hits him and tosses him out of her apartment in disgust while the summer draws to a close leila spends time with her parents before they separate and prepares for the wedding david notices her riding her bicycle to the wedding and follows her in his truck as everyone floods out onto the sidewalk following the wedding he waits outside the synagogue and approaches her rachel grabs leila's hand and asks david if he is coming at the reception david sees leila dancing with an elderly gentleman but she flees when he approaches her this time he follows her all the way home and inside telling her that he will never abandon her they reunite and the film finishes with a passionate kiss between them